to Sabre for Southwest. Now, a while ago, I did a little video about repairing enamelware using nail polish. And in it, I said, should be just fine. People chew on their nails, so it should be okay, food safe. And indeed, it turns out that that is the case. It is perfectly fine to repair even plates with nail polish. Now, um, didn't do a very good job of matching, but this is a lid that I use when I'm camping. What if you have a really antique piece of enamelware? This is um, from a very old pharmacy, and unfortunately, um, it's gotten a little bit of nicks and dents over time. And I'd like to use it for a picture, but I really don't want it to rust out. And it started rusting a little bit. Um, I use it for a picture to water my plants. So, what you need to do is get the clear nail polish. And the clear nail polish, of course, will go right over there and you won't see it. And why am I saying not white? Because there's 40 million kinds of white. And trying to match white can be very problematic. See, look, here's two different whites. And one is kind of a bluish white and one is more of a yellowy white. So um, really best to use some clear nail polish. Now, if indeed it has started to rust, like what has happened on this ladle, because somebody dropped it and it spalled on the outside and it spalled on the inside and it got rusty. So, you get something called rouge cloth. Now, this was uh, is 120 grit rouge cloth. Um, it's a, a little bit strong of a grit, but we could use this to um, basically very gently smooth out the rust. Just enough to knock it down. Um, you don't want to sand it down until there's like bare metal. Now, why am I saying that? If this was a car, yes, you would want to sand it down to bare metal. But this is actually just going to, at this point, hang in my kitchen. I'm really not going to use it anymore. But I do want to cover this to keep it from rusting anymore. So I've just sanded it down a bit. And then I'm going to put the clear nail polish on it. And um, if you don't have rouge cloth, you can use um, any other very fine sandpaper. Don't use, I think looking at this, 120 was actually a little too, too much. Try to get maybe a 320. Um, 220 is good if you have it. Both of these are very fine, very fine sandpapers. And what you don't want to do is scratch all the enamel wear around what you're rubbing on. Um, now, if you have it, here's an old 1500 grit. <coughs> if you have it, here's an old 1500 grit. Um, there, there's even more. There's something called um, crocus cloth. This stuff is almost like just plain cloth. It's barely there at all. And when I said old, it's really old. It's from Minnesota Mining and Manufacturing Company, 3M. So um, I guess it's antique, but it still works. Uh, just basically roughing, uh, or smoothing out some of the uh, rust and then just just coating it and it may take two or three coats. Um, let it dry in between. And this is just to keep it from rusting any further and feather it out. See how I'm doing? So it won't be a big globby glom of, of nail polish. So there you have it. Um, repairing enamel wear part two. Um, I did talk to uh, Somebody about, what about spoons? Because they really wear out right around the edges there. And the answer is don't even try because it's just going to flake off. Just go ahead and use them and enjoy them. And um, enjoy your enamel wear. Do use it. 
It's very pretty hanging on the wall as a decorative element, but the best part about kitchen tools is using them and, and savoring the thought of, well, this one was out of the 20s, you know? That's, that's, it's been around for some while. Thanks for watching. Repairing enamelware, save with the Southwest.